Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn how to write a Python program to convert a tuple of string values to a tuple of integer values. So given the tuple of string values that is tuple containing a strings, so you have to convert that to a tuple of integer values. So here I have taken a tuple of strings that is uh, data equals to 23. So this is a string. This is another tuple inside the tuple that is 3344 and uh, this is a second tuple. So this is a third tuple and the third tuple contains also a nested tuple within it and this is a fourth tuple that is 4567. So now I'll be writing a Python function that is using a recursion to convert these uh, tuple of string values to a tuple of integer values. So let me show you how I'll be converting these tuple to a integer values. So let's define a function that is let's say convert and uh, let's pass the that is a tuple of string values to it that is I'll be taking a temporary variable that is my tuple as an input argument to this convert function. So now I will take a local underscore tuple. So this is my that is a this is my temporary tuple so I'll be initializing it to a tuple that is an empty tuple so I have to fill this local tuple with the tuple of integers that is the output that I have to provide so yeah so let's try to use a for loop to traverse the complete uh, tuple of string values so let's use a for item in my underscore tuple and uh, check if the item is instance of tuple so if the instance is of tuple so let's uh, call the recursive function if is instance is a function so that provides a instance of particular object so let's use item over here and let's check if the item is of type tuple so if the item is of type tuple so let's uh, take the local tuple plus equals to so let's add the recursive tuples to this so yeah so here let me take a recursive tuple so this is the empty tuple and uh, here i have to call the convert function and pass the item to this so if the item is of tuple that is if the statement is true so i am be, i'll be calling a recursive function that is to convert the tuple of strings to a tuple of integers else let's use else if is instance and check if the item is of type string so if the item is of string so what you have to do is convert the string to an integer and add it to a local tuple let's take a local tuple plus equals to let's uh, convert the string to an integer so let's use int function and let's give item over here and let's give comma yeah, so this is the code to convert a string to an integer and also the recursive tuples. So let's return the local tuple over here once the for loop completes. Yeah, so this is a function and now in the main program, so I'll be taking a variable that is info equals to let's call the function and let's pass the data that is this whatever above tuple we are we are generally passing as a data to the function so once we pass the data so we get the info let's print the both the data as well as info let's print the info yeah so this is a complete program to convert a well that is a tuple of strings to a tuple of integers so let me run this program and let me show you how it works so you can see the data that is this that is containing a tuples of string is getting converted into a tuple of integer values so you can see exact position and uh, this is using a recursive function so you can see 23 is intact and this is the second tuple this is the third tuple this is the fourth tuple sorry this is the first tuple this is the second this is the third and inside the third we have another nested tuple and this is the fourth tuple yeah you can see the positions are intact so yeah so let's print some message that is user friendly message 
that is a couple of strings and here let's print a tuple of integers let's give dot 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 Yeah, so this is a complete program to convert a tuple of uh, string values to a tuple of integer values using recursion. So let me run it again. So you can see the output is the uh, same as the tuple of string values that is integers. So yeah, so that's it in this video. Hope you liked it. I'll give this code in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.